Hello, my name is Bob Howard, and I'm your lay leader at Bay Lake United Methodist Church. I've been asked to kick off the stewardship campaign for this time of the year and bring you an update about how we will explore stewardship in 2020. We're using Herb Miller's book, The New Consecration Sunday, again this year, but we've modified it for COVID. Since we've limited uh, to in-person worship and many of our members are worshiping through Facebook and on YouTube, it will look a little different this year. The focus of New Consecration Sunday is on the need of the giver to give and to be generous about what God is calling you to give and not what the needs of the church are. Through this program, I read the quote, God does not need your money. God has all the money he needs. Our need is to thank God for the many blessings we have. The importance of the next few weeks leading up to Consecration Sunday is to focus on our need to grow spiritually by contributing a specific percentage of our income as a commitment to Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. <clears throat> my biblical and theological beliefs are foundational in my convictions about Christian giving. First, I believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe that Jesus has the greatest potential to change the lives of people more than anything else. Second, I believe in the church. I believe the church is the body of Christ and has tremendous potential for changing, improving, and enriching people's lives. Third, I believe in stewardship, especially financial generosity. Financial giving enables the church to do what God is calling us to do, to help people and serve Jesus Christ. Financial stewardship helps individual Christians to grow spiritually. So as we travel through the next few weeks that lead up to Consecration Sunday, let us not lose sight of why we are doing this. In so many ways, it is the, a marvelous opportunity for each of us to grow spiritually, and by doing so, we help grow God's ministries in our church and in our community. Cliff Christopher also shared in his book, Rich Church, Poor Church, let us be clear, to give a tithe is to give one-tenth of what God has given back to God as an offering of our love and thanks. From a personal perspective, generosity is a word that often defines me. And it is typically my primary spiritual gift that rises to the top when I do a spiritual gift inventory. And what and who influenced me to become generous? My parents, George and Betty Howard, were people of very modest means. They were the voice that influenced my commitment to tithing years ago. They had an amazing faith that God would provide for them, coupled with the belief that someone else was always worse off than we were and they could use our help. In my life, I have found the more I give to others, more is returned so that I can even give more. With wealth comes great responsibility, so I'm committed to using my resources to honor and glorify God. I can't imagine living without tithing. Don't get me wrong, it's not always been easy. As, we, as Wendy and I were once young and didn't make a lot of money, we strived to save to purchase our first home, to pay off student loans, and, and put money away for retirement. But every time we made God and tithing a priority, we received far more blessings in return than we were offered. And the amazing thing is that the pattern repeats itself. As Dave Ramsey teaches, live like no one else so that one day you can live and give like no one else. Bay Lake United Methodist Church will host our Consecration Sunday on November 8th, and our guest speaker will be the Reverend David Rue of Charity United Methodist Church. We hope that you will make plans to attend live and in person at the church or online through our Facebook and YouTube channels. Will you join me in prayer? Lord, we ask that you open our eyes, the eyes of our hearts, so that we can see you and the needs of your people. Lord, we ask you to help us to hear what you are calling us to give. We praise and thank you for the many blessings, and we beseech your guidance and love as we travel through the next few weeks leading up to November 8th. Amen. God bless you, and have a great day.